In this video, I'm going to show you how I built a multi-agent system with Perplexity's sonar reasoning model that will automatically create articles or newsletters for me. As you can see, we have five different AI nodes here. Each one is specialized in its own role and defined a specific purpose, also known as prompt chaining or sequential analysis. So the first agent is the outline generator. This is going to create the outline of your article by taking the topic, the tone, and length that you provide and create a structure for the material that you're looking for this to generate. You know, researching for the most up-to-date information online and searching various different sources with Perplexity's newest research analysis model. We'll then be passing this into the second agent, which will do even further research on each section and subsection for this article, creating the actual meat of the article, also providing proper citations for everything that it's actually referencing. This third agent, it's then optimizing for SEO and making sure that the length is up to par. And of course, we then have the fourth agent, which is just making final edits, any sort of optimizations, and then it's going to create a document and upload it to our blog. So really quick, I just wanted to show you guys a quick example of what this would actually look like and what it's generated for me. So I had it create a file in my Google Drive. Now, if I just open this up, it's the Google Docs because I'm not gonna post it on my blog right now. This is just for demo sake. So we have AI consulting in 2025, strategic transformation and adaptive trends. The consulting industry is experiencing a seismic shift as AI becomes critical ingredient for competitive survival. In 2025, over 85% of consulting clients now prioritize services that seamlessly integrate AI solutions, signaling a paradigm shift in buyer expectations. Traditional opinion-led models built on manual process management are giving weight to agile, data-driven frameworks that can rapidly adapt to today's complex business landscape. With the global AI consulting market booming, projected to surge from $9.37 billion in 2022 to over $630 billion by 2028, companies must rapidly adapt their operations to leverage AI integration and secure a strategic advantage. So if we scroll down here, we can see that it's providing some research from PwC showing that nearly 70% of executives expect generative AI to play an increasingly autonomous role. We could scroll down even further. And if we scroll down here, we could see that we have different sections. So like bridging the talent gap, overcoming adoption barriers, and it's going to break that down a little bit further. Ethical AI integration, compliance and trust mechanisms, scroll down even further, customized solutions, whatever it may be, industry specific benefits. And then we have the conclusion down here, of course. Now let's go back to N8N, but if you're looking to get this template and download it for yourself so you can use, then you can get it in my new community with all of my other templates from past videos. Now in this community, we post resources on how to build with AI, automations, agents, whatever it is. It's a community of mine where I give in-depth video and resources for you to learn from pretty much a fundamental perspective. And it's also for those who are experts already with AI. I have live weekly calls. I share insights on real client projects, and I even go over how to grow and scale your own AI agency and how to automate your own business. But anyways, you can find the link for that down below. Let's now get into how this agent actually works and how you can be building this out for yourself. First off, we're starting with a form submission. So if I open this up really quick, I'm going to go to this link and we'll have to actually turn this on. So let's go test this out. Now let's try to go to this link or we could just refresh it. Okay. So here we have a researcher agent. It says, please provide a research report on a given topic. So we can give a topic like AI, US news, sports, whatever it may be. So in this case, we're just going to do, let's say how to succeed with AI consulting. For the post tone, we can choose casual or something pretty serious. I think it'd be good to have a more serious tone. And then for the length, we can do short, medium, or long. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and submit that and we'll see what we get in N8N. Okay, so in N8N, you can see that the form submission was completed. We can open it up a little bit. And we can see how to succeed with AI consulting, post tone is serious, length is short, and then we can just see the date that it was submitted at. Now, what we're doing in this form submission, we're just asking it to provide any sort of topic, post tone, you know, everything that you just saw. So if you'd like, you can add more qualifications or anything else that you would like to collect in terms of inputs. So you can put something like, I don't know, did you want pictures in this or not? Did you want to cite anything, whatever it may be, you know, allow this to tailor this a little bit more to your liking, but I'll go through this a little bit slowly. So feel free to copy what I'm doing for the form description. You know, 
this isn't going to matter. It's more so going to be the field names. So the topic, you know, I just have some placeholders, make sure that these are going to be required fields. We have the post tone. I'd say these are going to be the few important ones that you should um, always include. You can also include multiple choice. So if you want to be able to select more than one thing, but in any case, this one's relatively simple. We're not going to spend a whole lot of time on this. Next up, we're going to get into the first agent, which is the outline generator. So if I open up this, we can see that we're first providing it the context from the previous node. So the topic, the post tone, the length, and also the current dates. Now let's get into the prompt a little bit. You're to create a structured outline for articles that align with these specified topics, tones, and audiences while maintaining originality and content flow. I provide it with the inputs once again. Now I direct it with an output. I say a hierarchical outline with engaging headings, subheadings, avoiding repetitive or generic structures. Research integration, integrate relevant data, trends, or examples without specifying tools or methods. Here's the workflow steps. Identify core article goals, audience interests, and stylistic requirements. Here's an example, a cybersecurity for startups. Article targeting CTOs need technical depth not beginner explanations. Let this be a lesson for any AI prompting. It's so important to provide some sort of examples. One, it's going to allow your LLM to reference, you know, what you deem to be a goal of yours or some ideal output. And it's always going to reference that. So it can take your prompts from being 70% accurate to what you're looking for. It's to 90% to even 99% if you're providing it with more examples. It's a little bit like fine tuning, you know, if you're familiar with using open AI's fine tuning, you know, they require a whole lot of examples that you have to provide it. In a sense, you're fine tuning it. Topic exploration, research, subtopics, recent developments and audience pain points, avoid overused angles like five basic tips, unless explicitly requested. Here's the outline construction, but a five to seven section framework with unique thematic progression. Here's the lead, here's the core, here's the conclusion. Now for the tone and style alignment, adjust vocabulary and section titles like case study, lessons from a breach, you know, I'm providing it my examples. This is where you'll really want to tailor it to yourself. So if you do join my community and you do get this template then make sure that you're just swapping this out for, you know, whatever your article is going to be about or how you want this. Well, not necessarily how you want your article to be about because these are static. It should more so be how you would like it to be structured. Now we have some example inputs, you know, this is where we're just fine tuning it a little bit further. So we have the topic, we have the tone. Here's the output that I would like from the urban gardening topic from concrete to green, redefining cityscapes. Here's some subtopics, mental health benefits, community initiatives, no yard no problem. You know, you really get the idea. Ultimately, what we're trying to do here is create some sort of outline for our article. Now, let's just back up. Let's try running this might take a few seconds. You'll notice that we're connecting this to open router. Why I used open router is because I want to use perplexities researching analysis model. Now I find this model to be pretty amazing when it comes to any sort of researching online sources, anything surface level, whatever it may be. I use perplexity pretty much every single day. Now let's just see what it came up with really quick. So succeeding with AI consulting strategic integration for business growth. So the AI value gap, why most projects stall. In any case, we're using open router. You'll see if I select this, we're using the sonar reasoning. So that means it's one searching the internet for real time, you know, real things. And for it to actually search those things, it has to have access to the current date. So do not forget to provide your first agent. I would just give it to every single agent in this system access to the current date. So what it's doing, it's essentially going to research these topics, you know, real, it's more or less going to do succeeding with AI in the browser. And it's going to find different sources and sift through each one and find which one's going to be the best for you. You know, that's where this reasoning model comes into play. It's doing reasoning, finding the best ones for you. Yeah, there, there's a whole plethora that you could choose from. So we just have Sonar, we have the Sonar Small. And then of course, if you are using Open Router, you'll have access to all these different ones. So we have DeepSeek. So you can use R1 if you would like. You can use, um, yeah, OpenAI, O1, whatever it may be, which we'll get into later this video where we're using different models. Secondly, we're connecting this to just a message, a model node in within OpenAI. So you'll see right away, we are using 40 mini. This is pretty simple. We're just saying your job is to split out the input provided to you into an individual item. So feel free to copy this. We're just having it to split the outline into different sections. So title and description. So if I back up right here, you can see we're outputting content as JSON. This part's super important 
because if I test this out really quick, get an output quickly, we're going to get separate schemas. So if I switch over from table to schema, we can see we have all these different ones. So title, description, title, description, title, description. Otherwise, if we didn't output this, if we didn't switch this, it's just going to provide one, you know, title, description, just once, and it's all going to be messed up. Why we have to actually split it up like this is because we want to dive into and expound on each one of these subsections. So we don't just want to provide everything at once and give it to the next agent where it's going to expound on that. And you know, it's not going to be as specific and as thorough if we were to just provide a huge list of our entire outline. So we're basically just breaking it down and you know, you'll see that we're using a split out and this is going to act as a loop. If you're familiar with the looping node, it's just going to keep iterating through each one. So with a split out, I'll show you really quick. It's splitting up 15 different nodes instead of just one, which is exactly what we're looking for. So this agent is essentially going to be ran 15 different times and it's going to be researching each section, if you will. So I'm going to run this and because there is 15 different items, it's going to take quite a long time to run through each one and find everything because we are using these reasoning models. And if you've tested them out for yourself, then you'll know that it does take some time to run this. So I'll come back to you guys once it's actually finished. Okay, the node just finished running. If I open this up, we can see that we have 15 different outputs. Here's the first output going over pretty much the introduction. Second output, let's see the AI value gap. And you know, we could just keep on scrolling down. Each description or each section was ran individually. Again, hence why it took so long. But moving on, I just want to open up the second agent and show you what we're actually providing it. So right here, we're giving it the title, we're grabbing it the description from this previous split out node. We're doing all of that, we're providing it the article topic, which we can just grab from all the way down here. And we're also providing it with the current date, which I mentioned earlier, just do that in every one of your scenarios. Now what we're saying in the prompt is you're to generate original audience specific article content with embedded citations. Here's the parameters. Input should be section title, key subtopic, target audience and tone. Output should be directly usable text, 200 to 400 words with hyperlinked sources. Requirements, zero prefacing text, claims is supported by verifiable data. Here's the workflow. And then we're just breaking down a little bit further. I'll allow you to copy this yourself, but we're providing it with more examples and how we would like the outputs to actually look Look like again you can get this template from my community or just pause the video copy everything moving on to the next one this third agent is an seo and polishing agent but before we get into that we have to merge and actually aggregate this data i should probably point out all we're doing with this split out node is I'm just typing out message content items. So what I did right here is I pretty much just dragged over this or you could just type out message content items or it might be called something different for you. But in any case, we're then connecting the second agent into a merge node, but we're also connecting the split out node into a merge node. So we're combining the two. And you can see right here, combined by position, the number of inputs is going to be two. So we drag over the split out node, drag to the first input, and the second one is just going to be in the second input. So if we merge this, I'm gonna test this out. It should look a little bit something like this. If we open this up, we can see that it's still not all together. So we have all this data next to one another, but now what we want to do is we want to put this into one single output now, which is where we're going to be using an aggregate node. So if I test this out, we're going to aggregate individual fields, the input field name is just going to be title and the input field name down here is going to be output. So output representing this right here, title obviously representing title right here. Title, for some reason that is an empty array. I believe that should be like input, not a huge deal. If I open this up, it might be easier to look through here. We can see that we have all these different outputs in the schema. What we do now is we take the article content list, we're taking the output right here, and we're basically just dragging this array in, providing it with the article content outputs. And the prompt, Right here, we're saying expand and refine the following content to meet the form submission length. Ensure that it's meeting this word length, word target while optimizing for SEO. Add research backed examples, statistics, or quotes to deepen arguments. Ensure keywords are naturally integrated and maintain a, you know, we're just including the tone right here. So if I scroll all the way down to the bottom, we're including the tone going over here. But beyond that, feel free to just copy this part, which is providing it with some different rules, you know, like replacing generic claims with specific details. Moving on, we have this final agent, which is just going to be the final editor agent. This isn't anything too special. Really quick, before we actually get to that, I wanted to mention that instead of using open router and using perplexities node, I figured it was best to use O3 mini for this. So if you weren't familiar, N8N does allow you to use these newer models now, which is very convenient. 
and we are also using O3 Mini for this other or this final agent. Again, we're just going to open this up. We're providing it with the input. I'll actually probably want to run this first so you guys can see what it actually looks like. So that'll just finish up in just a second while we're waiting. Let's go over this prompt. You are an editorial assistant tasked with performing a final review of an article before publication. Your role is to ensure grammatical accuracy, logical flow, and overall quality while adhering to the specified tone. Here's some of the guidelines like correcting any grammar, punctuation, or spelling errors. Make sure there's no weird characters or lines. Remove any repetitive or unnecessary content. Ensure that the output never includes anything like here's the output, below is the final review version of the article, whatever it may be. But we can see that we now have the SEO and polishing agent finished. So what we did is we just dragged this over into the next section. We can open this up a little bit further. We can see this article right here. So this should be now about a thousand words, you know, because we specified in the form submissions to only include a thousand words, if you would remember. Now let's try running this. It should make up any critiques or it should make up for any errors that might have been in there, which I didn't really check if there was, but if there was, it's going to fix that right now. Okay, this just finished up. Now what we're doing right here, I'm including a Google Drive node just so we can create a file and we can actually view it right now in this demo. But normally what you can do is you can just connect this directly to your blog article or upload to your emails, whatever it may be. If you're creating newsletters, then it should go into emails or upload into Beehive, whatever it may be. But you can see we're just using Medium or we could also use, I think they have WordPress as well. Yes, yeah, so there's a lot of different ways that you can publish this. But for sake of this demo, I don't want to post anything. So we're just going to turn this off. We're then going to publish this file. If I go into my Google Drive, this is what the file will actually look like. But what I'm going to do is because it, the text just is in a different font, I'm going to open it up in Google Docs so we can view it a little bit better and review everything. Succeeded in AI consulting, building infrastructure, bridging expertise gaps, and ensuring ethical, measurable outcomes. So as artificial intelligence continues to transform industries worldwide, businesses looking to leverage its potential must overcome several challenges. So in today's competitive landscape, the success of AI consulting depends on establishing a robust infrastructure, addressing expertise shortages, implementing ethical governance, and delivering measurable outcomes. Recent research underscores the gap between AI's theoretical promise and real world performance. For example, one 2024 survey finds that while many organizations invest heavily in AI, only 13% of projects transition from proof of concept to full scale production. This article outlines key strategies for thriving in this environment while positioning your organization for long term growth. So I'm not going to dive into all of this. I'll allow you guys to play around with this yourself. But as you can see, this is about a thousand words. So coming up to about four pages. And I think this is pretty good to even post in my blog. But of course, I'll want to review it a little bit further. And what you can actually do is if you would like, you can include a human in the loop node. So if you wanted to review it and add any changes, we'll actually go back and we can include human in the loop. Just do Slack and you can upload this into here. So you can provide it with the ID. And it's going to say, hey, Nick, do you approve of this article? Please review it, whatever it may be. And you can provide your revisions, your edits. But perhaps we will dive into that in another video if you guys would like to see that. But yeah, again, you guys can get this template from my community. So get the link for that down below in the description. But besides that, I hope you guys found some value in this video. I think there's a lot of different ways that you can go about utilizing something like this, whether that's going to be for articles. Believe that there should be always some form of human element in whatever article you're reading. While I don't exactly believe we should be promoting, you know, what I'm doing right now, promoting just AI articles, I advise you to be careful. Make sure that you're actually promoting stuff that's going to be to be positive and helpful, insightful to others. You know, don't use this for any nefarious intent because, you know, you know, you could be spreading false information or whatever it may be if you're not reviewing everything properly, because, you know, this is AI at the end of the day, everything is pretty experimental. So I would highly recommend including some sort of human in the loop node, whatever it may be. And besides this, I mean, you can use this for creating news reports for yourself, whatever. I just wanted to go in depth on how you can actually, you know, use sequential analysis or prompt chaining, essentially just having a multi-agent system to create something pretty cool. But in any case, let me know what you guys think down below and I hope to see you in the next video. See you guys.